Good morning, good afternoon perhaps. I should even say good evening. Whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world right now, hello, welcome. Thanks for joining me, what a view, hey. We're at Noosa's main beach here on the Sunshine Coast of Queensland, Australia. And it was a little difficult for me to, to get the, the beach view in there and not have too much sun for poor lighting. And I thought, what the heck, let's just do it. Because today, I want you to focus on something which is so important in your business. No, it's not that, but it is your content marketing strategy for the upcoming year. It's incredibly important that you get that right. So I thought perhaps you could grab your pen and paper. We'll take a few different notes and I'll give you some ideas of what you could or should be focusing on over the coming 12 months. Here's where it begins. It begins with what is your idea? What is your strategy, your marketplace for your business? What's your target? Once you know your target marketplace, your niche, where it is that you want to fit in, then you need to break that up into individual categories. Just as there are here on the beach a whole wide variety of travelers from different areas around the globe, they've all come here with one interest. That interest is, of course, to enjoy Noosa Beach. Hey, why wouldn't you want to? People who are coming to your website need to have the same kind of interest to get whatever it is that you are giving and delivering. Most of us are blogging these days and I strongly suggest we do blog. And you need to blog around a tightly focused group of categories. About half a dozen is a good number. Now that means it could be four or five, six of course, seven or eight, no problem. 20, too many. Don't wanna have 20 different categories. So divide your website into these different categories and that's all you're going to blog on. So let's say that we have six different categories. That means in a 12 month year, yeah, which we have, you've got two months to write about each category. So what I'd like you to do is to plan out a content strategy. Month one, month two, month three, four, five, six, and then repeat and each of those months create content just for that category. Of course, if you're using tags and various things within your blog, then you can break them down into further groupings, which of course are the individuals that are out here. All very, very different, I'm sure. You can see what's happening behind me. I can't, but hopefully nothing too bad. But when people come to your website, they're looking for one primary theme. You then write about that theme, that topic, under different categories, about half a dozen. Do that for month one, two, through the six, and then repeat. Now, here's the thing that you need to do. Plan that in advance. What you also need to do is create different kinds of content. Written content, audio content, video content. Share the whole lot. Now. I don't know about you, but sometimes, every now and then, I just get a good idea for some kind of content. It may not be the category that I need to be writing for that month. So what should I do? Should I just dump it? Or should I perhaps write it and schedule it for later? Yes, that's exactly what you should do. Write it and schedule it for later. It turns out that if you're writing, you know, two, three times, four times, five times in that first week, in that first month, you'll end up with lots and lots of content for that first month. But if you write according to your impulses, according to, I've got a good idea, and then schedule it for its month, when you come down to month five or six, you can end up with literally bucket loads of high quality content relevant to your customers' needs. So that's the simple, simple strategy for getting your content into the hands of your customers. Now here's the thing. As I just look out here right now, I can see the place that I want to be. When customers come to my website, I want them to see the place where they want to be. You want your customers to be able to see the same thing. You need to match up your goals with your customers' goals and then create content for them. All sorts of different types, special reports, maybe an ebook once each month. 
offer some kind of free download in some other format but you want to be able to meet their needs with your content have them engage with you and have them come back does that make sense does it give you a bit of an idea a ballpark strategy here's what you need to do sit down for half an hour 45 minutes perhaps with a, a cool drink or a cup of tea or coffee with a pen and paper write down these ideas okay write them down work out your categories and go from there and that's a strategy that will be a winner for you over the next 12 months guess what I'm about to go and do oh yeah you know it and I'm not going to show it to you either you have a great day I'll talk to you soon bye bye